This is your Cosmic Briefing, a short clip from the Urantia Book for Dummies. Please stand by. Chapter 2 Civilization in Crisis As a member of the World Future Society, we work quite closely with many organizations monitoring trends and forecasts and studying the future. And there might be something to that. A quote from the Urantia book says this, Today, luxury vies with necessity in occupying the center of the stage of human activities. Such an age is all too often characterized by tyranny, intolerance, gluttony, and drunkenness. Sound familiar? The weaker elements of the population incline towards excesses and brutality. But today, society is top-heavy with the overgrowth of supposed human needs. Our civilization groans wearily under the tremendous overload of luxury and the inordinate multiplication of human desires and longings. Modern society is enduring the strain of one of the most dangerous phases of far-flung interassociation and highly complicated interdependence. Thus does the whole social body push on slowly toward the goal of destiny, extinction or survival, depending on whether that goal is self-maintenance or self-gratification, selfishness. Self-maintenance originates society while excessive self-gratification destroys civilization. We'll come back to self-gratification a little bit later in these presentations. But we all know that there's a fire in the madhouse and no one knows how to put it out. But for God's sakes, don't pull the fire alarm. It only wakes the inmates, agitates them, and exacerbates the problem. Their intentions are good, well-meaning in most cases, but as we have seen in many of the elaborate protest movements, they may be able to get into the gates, but their fire hoses have no water. And they don't know how to put out the fire either. They don't have a plan, except to tear the top down. But this is not about tearing the top down. It's about building the bottom up. The system is not the enemy. The government, our leadership, is not the enemy. And neither are the police, the military, or our first responders. Our enemy is chaos, anarchy. Uh, a Mad Max situation where only the bullies can win. But as people like John Lennon said, you know, we'd all like to start a revolution, but show us the plan. There isn't one. We need to understand that the system that we're standing on is the foundation for the new system, the new civilization. Now, sure, in a purely material world, if you want to build a new house and the old foundation is rotten, then you tear it down. But in an organic world, a rotten foundation is called compost. And new seeds grow best in compost. We can all see, just, just as in Rome, the barbarians are at the gate. And we need a wake-up call, but not a fire alarm. What we need is a reality check. We need a wisdom alarm. Today, our world is full of sleepwalkers walking through this difficult transition from one age to another. But what is needed now is a better idea, a better idea than the ones we've been using. We need a bigger idea. We are spending huge amounts of time and energy on what is breaking down. But the new civilization is already here. It's not about what's breaking down, it's about what's breaking through. 
Now we're going to call on a number of experts in this area and see what they've got to say. One of these is called the Urantia Book. But it's not like any alarm clock that we've ever heard before. It's not for everyone. And there have been plenty of alarm clocks before. But this is more like the kind of the bright morning sun that shines into your window and wakes you slowly with a gentle kiss of light that says, good morning, wakens you to a new world. Welcome to a new day, a new age, a new civilization. As a futurist, we can see it coming, but it's not the breakdown that's so important. It's what is breaking through. There's a rapidly growing awareness that these are unique times. But global trends now in place will collide in the near future, producing extreme uncertainty for humanity. Unless we quickly learn how to scan the horizon, see problems holistically, and from a cultural perspective, choose the future that we want and move quickly in that direction. What is required is directed human cultural evolution moving us to a new level of awareness, to a new set of values. The only way to assure that these catastrophes do not transpire is to become different people with different tools. We must transform our society. We must see ourselves and the world around us as fundamentally different. We must see it in new ways and then approach our task with new, less intrusive tools. That is why we're using this collection of 196 papers called the Urantia Papers, put together in the Urantia Book, an international bestseller which is now translated into 14 languages with more on the way and reported to be the highest human thoughts ever thunk on our planet. We're using this to help investigate this crisis situation to our world and to seek for solutions. In this presentation, we're not going to dwell on the challenges that we face. There are many, and there have been many who have come forward and have told us about these. But here in these presentations, we want to focus on solutions. And after reading these papers, I think they are what they claim to be the solutions to our problems. And hundreds of thousands of other readers all over the world in many other languages and cultures agree. They say the same thing. These papers are the answer. These are what we need. And so when we hear that, we have to think, well, it's at least worth a reading and an investigation. I had the extreme privilege of working with Buckminster Fuller, one of the great scientific spiritual geniuses of the 20th century. My children would sit on his lap while he would tell us how the universe worked. And he often told us, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. I think it's touch and go. <laughs> But I think we're going to make it. But don't let up. Don't let up or we won't make it. Now, before this presentation is over, you will know our future. And you will know yours. Now you think, okay, well, I'll just jump up to the end and have a look. But that won't work. The reason that won't is because you won't know what this is, nor how it works. And that's what our presentation is about here in Chapter 2, Civilization in Crisis. So join us in Section 2 as we begin to understand how we move from a tapeworm of a system of crime and corruption, of climate change, resource mismanagement, and more importantly, a family breakdown that is rotting the foundation of our system from the inside out and into the organic cocoon where the caterpillar 
of transformation can metamorphosize into the new system that we need to make the world work. The next step in our evolution, it's not revolution that we're looking for or what we need, it's solution. And solution comes from evolution. The Urantia book gives us a clear hint in paper 81, section 5, we read this. Biological evolution and cultural civilization are not necessarily correlated. Organic evolution in any age may proceed unhindered in the very midst of cultural decadence. But when lengthy periods of human history are surveyed, as we're doing now, it will be observed that eventually evolution and cultural become related as cause and effect. Biologic evolution may advance in the absence of culture, but cultural civilization does not flourish without an adequate background of antecedent human racial progression. From paper 81, section 6, entitled The Prevention of Transitional Breakdown, we read this. Society is the offspring of age upon age of trial and error. It is what survived the selective adjustments and readjustments in the successive ages of mankind's age-long rise from animal to human levels of planetary status. The great danger to any civilization at any one moment is the threat of breakdown during the time of transition from the established methods of the past to those new and better but untried procedures of the future. It's not what's breaking down, it's what's breaking through that is so vitally important for us to understand. So join us. Chapter 2, Section 2, Civilization in Crisis. As we begin to understand what's the next step. book for dummies. Please click the subscribe button above and then follow these links for a full presentation of this briefing. Thank you.